students, it's non-binary is the um, sad substitute for the evolved version of um, e equanimity. Mm. So um, it, it, it's that it's and and it's this fine line. All of these things are the fine line between. It's not that um, it doesn't matter. It's not that it doesn't matter how you feel inside. It, do, it matters greatly. It matters if, you, if, if I'm in this body and I feel like a man. That matters. It matters for how I interact with the world. It's, it's that it's, it's just not any more real than anything else and nothing is real. So it's like, um, and and the heart. It's probably like explaining that to a lot of women. <laughs> it, what it means is, oh, so a, a certain archetype inhabits you. That is a profound and powerful thing that we all need to learn learn to work with. Everything I say is going to be so political, but there. Uh, so you know, my consort, within him, uh, there is a uh, an archetype of a Catholic priest. There is an archetype of my older brother. There are all of these archetypes. It's important that one be able to track them and live with them and tend to them and recognize that they matter. They matter. And because if you don't recognize that they matter, they will destroy you. Right. That's the what we see of, with artists. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, they want the attention of the keeper yeah. or they'll destroy you in order to get it. Very simple. So so I, I, I honor every single person's... Um, gender, sexuality, age, class, archetype. It's important. I just don't um, want to reify anything because the reification is the source of suffering. So you have an entire politic that by its very nature is suffering because what brings suffering is identity. So, mm -hmm. so there's this idea, oh, my existing identity brings suffering. What I'm going to do is graft some more identities on top of it. 14 definitions of mine, yes. And, and then I will be buffered from reality in some way. It's like, no, 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 that is a mistake. The, the way to do it is to dissolve all sense of identity. How do you do that? You open up clear eyes. How do you do that? Well, you recognize that everything is impermanent. How do you do that? You just look at Everything being impermanent. <laughs> and so, so this idea that there's a fixed me who's always traveling through time and space, okay, so you recognize that isn't true. That loosens things and gives you space that, that ends up.